Leading Ladies, an African podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption in our past has been women never played a part in the fight for independence and the protection of human and political rights in Malawi. Meet Vera Mlangazuachiru, the fearless activist. Vera Mlangazuachiru was born in 1932. She lived with her paternal grandparents in Mbangweni, Malawi, where she completed her primary education. Vera pursued her tertiary education at Domasi Teachers Training College, then went on to study law at the University of Dar es Salaam and later at the University College of London. Vera became Malawi's first female lawyer. In 1951, Vera married fellow lawyer Orton Edgar Chingoli Chirwa. At that time, Vera saw and experienced the institutional racism and discrimination under colonialism in her country. In the early 1950s, Vera Chirwa joined forces with Rose Chimambo to form the Nyasaland African Women's League. Together, they rallied women to join the fight for Malawi's independence. In 1954, the colonial government created the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasaland, an amalgamation of Southern Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, Northern Rhodesia, now Zambia, and Nyasaland, Malawi. Vera felt she had to stand up against such a government system. And in response, Vera and her husband, Orton, amongst other nationalist leaders, founded the Malawi Congress Party in 1959. Along with other members, she was arrested and taken to prison in southern Rhodesia. Vera was eventually released and returned to Malawi. When Malawi gained independence on 6 July 1964, Vera's husband was appointed Minister of Justice and Attorney General by President Hastings Kamuzubanda. The president soon showed himself to be dictatorial and this led to an uprising against him. Orton Chirwa was dismissed from the cabinet the same year and he and Vera fled to Tanzania to begin their life in exile. President Hastings Kamuzubanda continued to run an oppressive dictatorial regime in Malawi. Exile did not stop Vera's work against Kamuzu's regime. In Tanzania, she co-organized the Malawi Freedom Movement, Mafremo, as a political party of Malawians in Tanzania and Zambia. The party worked to oppose and overthrow Dr. Banda's dictatorial regime. In early 1983, Vera and Orton Chirwa were abducted and brought back to Malawi. They were tried before a traditional court without defense lawyers and no witnesses. In May of 1983, Orton and Vera were convicted and sentenced to death. Vera spent the next 12 years at Zomba Central Prison, where she was humiliated, tortured, and not allowed visitors. In October 1992, her husband Orton died mysteriously in his cell. In February 1993, Kamuzubanda's regime had come to an end and Vera was released from prison. In February 1994, Vera assisted in drafting the current constitution of Malawi. She was invited to run as a UDF vice presidential candidate in Malawi's first tripartite elections, but declined. She continued in her role as a human and political rights activist under the Bakili Muluzi and the Bingu Wamtarika governments. Vera never stopped fighting for human and political rights. She was appointed to the 11-member African Commission on Human and People's Rights and took her fight and contribution beyond the borders of Malawi. Today, Vera focuses on carrying the message of human rights to other parts of the African continent, specifically as the African Commission Special Rapporteur on Prisons, where she fights to improve conditions for prison inmates in Africa. Women have played important roles in fighting for freedom and human rights from colonial and post-colonial political oppression.